Hi student, uh, today I want to continue about the structure question for the electromagnetism. Okay, let's see the question now. Okay, the first one should be the diagram 7. Uh, that's a uh, question 5. We continue the last lesson. Okay, this one question I will upload in the comment there. Later, you can go there and download the question. Okay, let me discuss this one question 5 first. Okay, let's see the question 5. This one is uh, one of the transformer. Okay, they see the wire. This one should be the input. Okay, 240 volt. This one is the output. Output is a 6 volt. Okay, for the transformer, we're using the alternating current. Okay, first one, they ask you name the type of this one transformer. Okay, we see that when starting should be the number of turn is a less. Final become more. So this one situation, we call it as a step down transformer. Okay, number two. Now we need to state why the soft iron is used. Okay, from here they mention there's a soft ions. So normally the question they ask soft ions, we just got one of the answer. That's a easy to magnetize and also demagnetize. So anything about the soft iron call, so this one should be the answer. Okay, then we continue to the question A. Okay, the number of turn of the primary coin is a uh, thousand. Calculate the number of turn of the secondary coin. Okay, just now we know the input power is 240, then the output power should be the 6 volt. Okay, now we show the calculation. Okay, number of turn for the secondary coin, that's equal to the uh, number of turn for the primary coin multiplied with the output voltage over primary voltage. So we get it, the number of turn for secondary coin should be 25. And this one, there's a no unit because number of turn is just a number. Okay, then we go B. The transformer in the diagram 7, they used to switch on the electrical appliances. The current for the in primary coin should be 0.1 ampere and the efficiency is a 75%. Okay, so from here we need to find out what's the output power of the transformer. So from using the efficiency, we go to find the output power. So the formula should be power output over power input multiply 100%, then we get 75%. So from here, we need to find out the output power. So from the question, they never provide the input power. They just give you the uh, voltage and also the current. Okay, From the voltage and current, that means we can create the power because P equals VEI. Okay, let's see the equation. Okay, this one is uh, V secondary, I secondary. So when they just multiply this one, we call it power output. Okay, the bottom one should be V primary, current primary. So this one we call it power input. Then multiply 100%, the answer is 75%. Okay, so from here the question, they want to find output power. So we just over input power. Input power is a 240 multiply 0 0.1. So I get it, that is a 75 over 100, this one is 0 0.75. Okay, we move the 100% go another side. So they become divide. So finally, the output power, I get it, 18 watt. So you can check your output power, sure, less than the input power. Okay, because some uh, process, there sure will be a loss of the energy. Okay, number two, they ask the electrical appliances, they need to 20 watt for power in connected to the transformer output. Suggest a modification to transformer that enable to appliances to be function correctly. So just now you just produce 18 watt. Now the question they say the appliances they want 20. So that means just of 2 watt means you lost the uh, power. So how you solve the problem to loss, uh, to reduce the power loss. So from here we learn so many is it. You reduce the resistance of the wire. Or you say you're using the laminate soft iron coil. Uh, this one is all or the effect. Uh, how the power will lose it. So another one should be the AD current. You reduce the AD current. Okay, let's see the answer here. So they're using the laminate iron core. Although you're using soft iron core, then you want to reduce the AD current using laminate. Okay, number two, you mentioned you're using the low resistance coin. Okay, another one you can say you change the shape of the transformer.
okay so this one is how to reduce the power loss okay from the uh, transformer okay see a student they connect the tv they're using the current to output of the transformer diagram seven okay just now i mentioned for you transformer there's a using alternating current but now when the tv switch on that does not function so another one you need to think about the tv tv we using is a direct current so from here they ask you why the tv that does not function so you must mention transformer using alternating current and the tv is using direct current so that means you straightforward join the tv with the transformer there's a cannot function okay let's see the answer here transformer supply the alternating current but the tv they cannot work on the alternating current okay then we go to two an electrical component that's connected to the output of the transformer so that the tv can be function so you need to think about that the component when i just add okay, to the same circuit finally the tv can be function so from here the question okay we see the malay because the english it is not here they ask you to name the component and also need to see uh, like to say about how you connected that component you added so the component here we can convert alternating become direct current they just got one of the component there's a diodes okay we're using the diodes then they ask you how you join the diodes the diodes normally we join by series circuit okay so the answer here diodes or you can say bridge rectifier bridge rectifier also can produce the full of the uh, full wave uh, direct current okay the convert become full wave okay now the connection should be series okay question six a charger adapter there's a device has a step down transformer they shown in the 6.1 okay so 6.1 they show the charger of the laptop suffocation uh, of its step down transformer okay they're using 6.2 they're using the charger also there's an electrical toy car the specification of the step down transformer both also step down now the adapter okay this one is a malay uh the explanation okay we go through the diagram so I go to zoom. Okay, let's see this one. This one, the first one for the charger. Eh? Number of turn for the primary, 240. Okay, number of turn of the secondary, there's a 190. Okay, let's see the ratio. Ratio for the number of turn primary and secondary, there's a 12.6. Okay, input power, uh, sorry, input voltage, 240 volt. Output voltage is a 19 volt. So this one sure is a step down transformer. Okay, now we go through the the toy car. Okay, the toy car, uh, the number of turn for primary is a 2400. Okay, turn for the secondary coin is 60. The ratio is 40. Okay, input voltage is the same, 240. But this one output voltage becomes 6. Okay, so we see what's the difference. Okay, first one, the number of turn primary is the same. Okay, but the number of turn for the secondary coin is a different. For the toy car should be less. Okay, ratio also different. Ratio for the secondary secondary coin from the uh, the toy car, you find it the ratio become 40. Okay, for the charger, there's a 12.6. Okay, input voltage should be the same, but the output voltage is a different. For the toy car should be lower, they only 6 volts. Okay, so this one is a, what's the difference we can see through the diagram. Okay, then we go through the question. Okay, from the question, they ask you what means by step down transformer. Step down transformer means later your output voltage should be dropped. Okay, after pass through the uh, transformer because of number of turns. So we're going to see the answer. Output voltage produced is smaller. Okay, or you say the secondary voltage is smaller. Okay, explain how the output voltage is produced by the transformer. Okay, for the transformer, we must think about the electromagnetic induction. That means they're using the changes of the magnetic flux. Then they produce the induced current. Okay, so we go through. Okay, first one, they say changing the magnetic flux in the secondary coin. Or you say cutting the magnetic field in the secondary coin. Okay, after that, if this one question is too much, you need to answer. After changing the flux, what happened? So the second should be, they produce the induced EMF. Okay, the induced EMF means they're using the electromagnetic induction. 
okay, using the motion to produce the current. Okay, then we continue the comparison question. Okay, 6.1, 6.2, you need to compare about the input voltage. Okay, the input voltage should be the same. Both also is a 240. So we just answer both equal. Okay, how about the output voltage? Okay, the output voltage, you see this one becomes 6 volt. Another one, the first one is a 19 volt. So I can say 6.1 more than 6.2. Okay, bigger than 6.2. Okay, number three, the number of the turn for the secondary coin. Okay, this one secondary coin is a 60. For the laptop, the charger is a 12.6. So should be, uh, sorry, that's a 190. 12.6 is a ratio. So that means we find it the charger. The output number of turn sure more than the toy car. Okay, so we can say 6.1 is more than 6.2. Okay, then we go to the next one. Okay, the next one, they ask you to compare the ratio of number primary coin to the secondary coin, MP over NS. So we can through the table. Okay, the first one, MP over NS is a 12.6. For the toy car, is a 40. So should be the 6.2 more than 6.1. Okay, so we see 6.2 is bigger than 6.1. Okay, now you need to do the relationship between the ratio MP over NS and also output voltage. So we do the comparison. Okay, when the MP over NS is smaller, this one is smaller because 12.6. So you see the output voltage. Output voltage is a 19 volt. Okay, so this one ratio is a 40. That's a bigger number. But the output voltage is dropped, becomes 6 volt. So we can do the conclusion is when the ratio is bigger number, the output voltage will become smaller. Okay, so one bigger, one smaller, so should be inversely proportional. Okay, let's see the answer. So from this one question, you need to answer by full sentence. So you just copy from the question. MP over NS inversely proportional with the output voltage. Okay, so this one is the answer for the relationship. Okay, we continue with the question 7. Okay, this one is show about the electric transmission cable. Transmit the electrical energy from one place to another place. Okay, the electric current that transmit through the cable is a 10 ohm. Okay, the resistance 10 ohm and the current should be 10 ampere. So what's the meaning of electric current? So we go to definition for current. Current, the formula is a I equal Q over T. Okay, so from here we need to convert the formula become the words. So over T, I told you already, there should be rate of because there's a over the time. So now it's a rate of flow of the charge because the charge, we don't have any changes. Okay, normally you say rate of chain of displacement is it for the velocity but this one just rate of flow of the charge okay so the answer is rate of charge flow okay calculate the power loss okay power loss remember the formula is a p equal i squared r that formula we just apply when they're talking about the power loss okay so from here we need to find the i I question provided, I square, then the R. So the calculation, P equal I square R. So you take I go to square, multiply the resistance. So I get it as a thousand watt. Okay, from here, thousand watt already lost. Okay, then we continue. The brightness of the bulb B is lower. Okay, this one is a bulb B, become lower. Then the bulb A, due to the power loss in the wire X. So that means when it just transmit, you find it, they lost the power during the wire X. So from here, you get the bulb become dim compared to the uh, bulb A. Although they're using the volt and power should be the same. Okay, now you need to suggest the modification that make the module to increase the brightness of the bulb B based on the following aspect. Okay, first one, they ask you about diameter of the wire. You want to reduce the resistance, so the diameter must be thicker. Okay, because the uh, surface area 
and also resistance is inversely proportional. Okay, so from here we choose about thicker wire. Reason, low resistance. Okay, number two, the number of the turn for the secondary coin for the transformer. You want to make the second part become brighter, is it? So that means your secondary coin, the number of turn must be higher. You want to step up. Okay, you want to step down. If you step down, that means the bar become dim. Lah. So you want to make it B become brighter. So you must step up. So from here, they choose about number of turns should be more. Okay, the reason is higher voltage. So that means you want to make it, the voltage for the output become higher. Okay, then we continue. Okay, the question, they say the module for the electric power transmission. Name the material for the wire X. Okay, normally the wire we build by using the copper and also the aluminium. Okay, another question you can say there's a good conductor. You also can say there's a low resistant uh, metal. Okay, we choose the copper and also the aluminium. So the reason is low resistant. If you crash with the just now question, so we just say there's a good conductor. Okay, now give the reason why the alternating current power is used in this one module. Okay, we're using more, uh, the alternating current because of the transformer, is it? Okay, because the transformer want to produce the changes of magnetic flux. So we're using the alternating current. Okay, let's see. Alternating voltage can be stepped up by the transformer as transmission. So important is the transformer. Why we need using transformer? Because you want to step up and also step down the voltage. So if you're using transformer means you're sure using alternating current. Okay? Or you say the alternating voltage. Okay, then we go to number 8. Number 8 also is a transmission for the electricity. So this one is a power station to the school using the transmission cable for the transformer. So when you see the starting part is here, and this one is a screw. So this one is normally the transformer must be stepped up. Okay. So the first part step up. Then after that is the step down transformer. Okay. So um, please refer. Don't refer here. Okay. This one is a sum of the mistake. So power station. The X should be stepped up. Then another one should be stepped down. Okay. Now first one. State one characteristic of the material that's used for make the transmission cable so we know the, the material should be you can say low resistance another one you can say high melting point okay they prevent melting although there's a high temperature okay low resistance thick okay low resistance you also can say thick wire diameter become bigger so this one is another meaning for low resistance so they're using high melting point okay so from here, the output power and also the output voltage at the transmission cable are one a ten megawatt and also one three two kilovolt. Okay, output power and also output voltage. Okay, so from here the total resistance of the transmission cable is a six hundred ohm. Okay, so from here, okay, refer the diagram. I want you to change this one should be the step up transformer. And this one should be the step down. Okay. Maybe the question they do write the something that's wrong. Maybe the next question they call you to modify. So we don't know. So important I want to tell you for the power station, when it just come out, the transformer must be stepped up. Okay, when they go to other supplier, they want sure it's a step down. So we see the question, is it or not? Okay, so from here we see the output power and also the output voltage. They also say about 10 mega and also uh, 132 kilovolt. So the current flow through the cable. They want to find the current flow through the cable. So just using the formula is a P equal VI. Okay, you cannot say using V equal IR because that one is the output. Now the question they say flow through the cable means there's an input. Okay, the input they provide how many? So we're using the power formula. So power is a okay, P equal vi so we take you want to find the current is it p over v so p is how many mega six uh, 10 multiplied 10 power of six then over the vote vote is a 132 power of three so after that 10 over 32 so we get it the current is a 75.76 
Okay, so this one current will flow through from the X go until to the Y. Okay, now they ask you power loss. So power loss, we need to using the formula P equal I squared R. This one power is power input. Okay, now we do the calculation for power loss. Okay, so power loss I squared, we find the I already, 75.76 square. Then multiply the resistance of the cable, 600. So I get it, that's a 3.44 times 10 power of 6 watts of the power already lost. Okay? Okay, now we continue with the question. Okay, they give you of the three of the transformer here. So in the school lab, a step down transformer is used to light up the bulb. There's a 12 volt. Okay, then PQR, there's a three different of the step down transformer. Can be used to step down the voltage from 240 to 12 volt. Mean when starting primary is a 240 volt. Then after that final, I want 12 volt. So you need to choose the number of turn. Finally, the ratio must be equal. Okay, so table 2, they showed about the characteristic of the transformer. So from here, we see the characteristic. First one, they ask you about the material. Okay, material, you want to build the uh, build the shape of the core. Okay, you want to build the core. Okay, another one, the shape, they got X, they got Y, and also the X. Okay, so this type should be the X, like the center got one bar. Okay, the center is an empty one. That one should be the Y. And the last one should be compared about the ratio, number of turn primary and secondary. Okay, we know this one sure is a step down because you want to convert become 12 volt. So the step down should be correct. Okay, we're going to choose that later. So the first one should be out lah, because this one is a step up. Okay, these two Q and R also is a step down. Then we must find it. The step down, the number should be the ratio. Same like the volt. Uh, after do the calculation. So this one is a VP, this one is a VS. So you take VP over VS, 2, 4 over 12, then should be 20. So that means the number of turn for primary and secondary sure 20 and 1. Okay, now we go to choose. Okay, first one they ask you about the material. Okay, you need to find the suitable characteristic for the transformer can be light up the bulb with the normal brightness and at least the less of the energy they lost. So give the reason also. Material for the core we need to using is a soft iron core. Okay, then I tell you the reason already. Soft iron core we always answer. Easy to magnetize and demagnetize. Okay, so this one is a soft iron core explanation. Okay, the next one they ask you about the shape. Okay, so from here, the label for you. So we choose there's a shape X. Okay, why we need to extra one of the bar at the center? So important, we want to prevent the leakage. So because the number of turn, the turn from a primary at the top, another secondary at the bottom. So when they're just cutting the flux, they reduce the leakage of the magnetic field. So from here, they can get reduce the power loss. Okay, check the answer. The secondary coil and primary coil can be worn on the top each other. So they can reduce the leakage of the magnetic flux. Okay, now it's a number of turn, primary and secondary. So we need to choose is a 20 and 1. Okay, so the reason is because you want to produce the 12 volt of the output voltage. Or you can say because you want to step down the uh, output voltage. Okay, output voltage become 12 volt and you can say decrease the output voltage. Okay, based on your answer, uh, XC1 and XC2 and the last one XC3, which one should be the best transformer you want to choose? So from here we choose there's a transformer R. So from here we continue for one of the questions. There's a question 10. Okay, this one is the Soft iron core, okay, when they join with the power supply, okay, DC supply, after that they go to go down to the container, after that they go to absorb the, the iron nail, okay. So finally, we see how many we attracted. Okay, from here, first one, we go and find that the uh, battery should be the same, okay. 
Then number two, we see the emitter readings. Okay, emitter reading, the first one should be less. The second one, emitter reading is more. Okay, that means they provide the current is more than the first one. Okay, number two, we see the number of turn. Number of turn should be the equal. Okay, last one, we see the number of the new they go to attract. Okay, the first diagram, they just attract two of the iron nail. Okay, and the second diagram, they attract more of the iron nail. So from here, the relationship is the number of iron nail they attract will be increasing when the current is high. Okay, so the number of the nail attract more actually was the meaning. That's uh, related with the magnetic field. If your magnetic field becomes strong, that means the magnet is very strong. They can attract more of the object. Okay, so we go through the question. Okay, 10.1, 10.2, they show the number of the iron nail that attract to the electromagnet. So the electromagnet that connected to the DC power supply. Okay, first one, what means by electromagnet? Okay, electromagnet, you can say there's a temporary magnet. Or the conductor, when the just current go through, they will become the magnet. Okay, so we check the answer. You can say temporary magnet. You can say they become the magnet when the current flow. Okay, then the next one should be the comparison. Okay, we highlight already two diagram. Compare the number of turn of the coin. Okay, number of turn of the coin. Okay, number two is compare the reading of emitter. Number three, compare the number of iron nail that attract. Okay, after that, we need to relate it, related the reading of the emitter with the number of iron nail that attract. Okay, after that, regarding one to relationship again between the electric current and the strength of the electromagnet. So from here, they got five marks. So we answer one by one. Okay, first one. Number of turns should be the same. Okay, number of turns in both diagrams, there's an equal. Okay, number two, they're talking about the reading of the emitter. Reading emitter, sure, is a 10.2 more than 10.1. So we just check. Emitter reading, 10.2 more than 10.1. So better you write in word, don't using the symbol. Okay, after that, number three, they ask number of iron nail. Number iron nail is 10.2 more than 10.1. Okay, then after that, number four, relationship. Reading emitter and number of iron. So that means if the reading emitter is higher, then the number of the iron attracted also increase. Okay, so this is number five, this one number four. Number of iron nail directly proportional to the emitter readings. And the last one, relationship between the current and strength. That means when the current is strong, that means the strength also strong. So current directly proportional to the strength of the electromagnet. Okay, so this one's the five marks, how to get it. Although the question they write in full sentence together, so important you need to highlight. Okay, you need to highlight, after that find out the five points you need to answer. Normally the question give you five points. Okay, means three is a relationship, uh, sorry, three is a comparison, then two is a relationship. So after that you can get the five marks. Okay, so our question discussion just until this part. So that means the next one should be the electronic. So hopefully you understand what I'm talking about the question. And also you like what's the discussion I do it. So just thank you for your watching. Thank you.